Hey guys and girls, welcome to Crixus. Well, not a Crixus plays. This is an actual new Let's Play. The demo for this came out, um, like so close to when the demo for this guy came out as well, and I was so excited. Um, you can tell what it is by the title already, but we're gonna play Legend of Legacy. I've got this game reserved. I've been waiting forever for this game. Um, Legend of Legacy, uh, published by Atlas. This game's made by um, a couple of the people from uh, a couple of people that left uh, Square Enix and Level Five. So it's the minds behind people like, I guess you know Nino Cooney, and uh, you know all the uh, Rogue Galaxy. You know all the Final Fantasy guys that, as well. You know, but uh, yeah, it has a huge Bravely Default feel to it. Um, similar to the Heroes of Light as well. It's got a storybook uh, type of world, which is cool. Um, I'm going to be doing a full Let's Play on this on my main channel. The game itself comes out October 13th. And that's that'll be around when I start it. Um, also, it'll probably be one of the first Let's Plays. At least, um, not not for like a week. But it'll be one of the first Let's Plays that I'll start uploading more than 15 minutes. Because um, October 23rd, I think, my channel gets a strike taken off. And I can finally upload more than 15 minutes. The first few episodes will be 15 minutes, but yeah. Um, this will be considered like a first part because you can transfer the demo over to the main game, which I will be doing. So yeah, I hope we guys, you guys will have fun with this as much as I will. Okay, formatting. Do your thing, save data formatted. This game was kind of like... Um, like a oh my gosh I can't believe I can't believe it um yeah we got it. we got that if you exceed the allowing number of demo plays you will not be permitted to play anymore yeah all right for you presents project legacy I'm excited for this uh. many adventurers have challenged fate and never returned. The legendary island has awoken from its eternal slumber. Avalon. It's cool because you can... Well, I'll get into it. No one knows what secrets lie hidden here. A gateway to paradise or to the abyss. This is a tale weaved from the legacy of the old gods. A long forgotten mystery. Legend of Legacy. If you love RPGs, pick this up, guys. The demo, at least, I guess, if you want to try it out. Ugh. So excited! Alright, start a new game. So yeah, this is what I was trying to get into. Um, this is the first... Not the first. There's probably a lot out there, but... One of the newer ones for the 3DS that allow protagonists to be picked. Like, you can pick between a few characters. Bianca. I see there's a character already named for you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we have Mior's. He's an elementalist, the last of his kind, able to speak with the elementals. Oh, sorry. He travels the earth with the spirits as his guide. Then you have his base stats. Uh, this girl is a girl with amnesia, age unknown. A mild, gentle girl who awoke tragically to find her memories had vanished. Still, she maintains her optimism. And got Liber, age 18. He's a treasure hunter. Always in search of treasure, he is spirited and idealistic. His integrity and chivalry often get him into trouble. We have his base stats. He's more of a support character from the looks of it. Uh, what is she? Oh, sorry. She's a bit of support and guard, and he is full on support. So he's kind of like a magic knight, I guess. Um, we have Garnet, a knight of the Holy Order. She swears absolute loyalty to her country and her church. Her focus will not falter. Templar, age 20. Oh, wait. We have to check her out? Yeah, so she's she's got a nice balance between guard and attack. Uh, then we have here Owen, the mercenary. Age 36. Known by many as the Baron. His prowess in combat is legendary. There is no job he will refuse if the price is right. We have Eloise, a seductive young lady, eagerly researching the secret of eternal youth. Perhaps her kind nature is just an act, age 24. 
she's probably like a mage character or somewhat. And then we have uh, Filmia, the frog prince, which is very unique. I mean, the only other frog character I can remember is Frog from uh, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> so you can have a frog as your main character, the heir to a lost kingdom. No longer to be found in Avalon. He remains well-mannered and often bursts into song. So he's good at attacking, pretty much. So, um, I'm gonna pick for, like, this demo playthrough. Um, I wouldn't mind switching. I want, I want you guys to let me know. Because, um, at least from what I can gather, all these characters is your party. They do meet up. But you get to pick your main character, so you get to see where this the character starts from. And I'm personally leaning toward Owen, or Mjors, 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 this guy, because, um, he seems like, uh, like the, the, the default main character, and, uh, Owen just looks, like, seems awesome. <laughs> but, um, we're gonna pick Mjors for this, uh, starting part to play through thing. Um, but, uh, if you guys might want me to play as another character to start once to let... Once October 13 comes around and the last place starts, let me know. But we're gonna go with Mior's and begin his tale. Yeah. The elementals are gathering, or are they being drawn in? Why there? Why would the spirits converge in one place? What is that island? Something is about to occur. When? Do you feel it too? So what I can gather, you do meet the other characters. I I should say I shouldn't, you know. So basically, uh, character picking is to kind of see their start, I guess. Similar to Dragon Age, where you get to see a, a start for each character, and then it kind of converges in the same story. But yeah. The island of Avalon. It appeared in the Northern Sea ten years ago. Legends tell of an island so vast, it was an entire continent unto itself. Its civilization was prosperous, and the gods lived amongst men. Why name this island after that ancient continent? Scores of men seeking fame and glory set their sights on Avalon. But the island's perils thwarted them all from achieving it. Mures traveled to the town of Initium to gather information. There, he met other adventurers and journeyed north to the forest ruins. Journeyed? Initium. And then he went north to the forest ruins. Alright, so Mior's met Garnet and Bianca. Uh, um. Huh. Huh. Uh, I'm Bianca. I just wanted to say, I hope we can work together. I'm Garnet. I feel the same way. The name's Mior's. I'm ready for whatever's in store. Well, Bianca, I've been wanting to ask. Are you an adventurer? You're different than the others in town. To be honest, I don't know. I can't remember anything before coming here. But I'm doing my best. Amnesia. Hmm. I see. I hope that doesn't prove to be a problem. This is no place for children. The smallest mistake could put everyone's life in danger. So why did you want to explore the island? 
I... I have a feeling that this island holds the secrets to restoring my memories. So I'm here, no matter what it takes. <sighs> I am sympathetic to your circumstances, but it's a separate objective. I'd like to ask you to save the personal mission for other adventuring parties. At the very least, I just need to know. You can protect yourself, yes? Well, I... I mean... Yes, I'll do my best. I'm sorry for being so harsh. But if we cannot work as a team, then we'll be facing even more dire odds. In the meantime, this feels like a very capable group. I feel we can count on you. Th thank you. I say, I say, do what you want. We're past the point of turning back anyhow. You got it. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mears and Miss Garnet. You don't need to be so formal. I agree. Garnet will do. I understand, Garnet and Mears. We're here. Let's be careful. The island housed several sites filled with untold spiritual energy. The forest ruins was one such place. There had been numerous accounts of elementals in the area. And these rumors lured in travelers from across the world. Is your party assembled and ready to move out? Great, then let's begin. First, let me thank you all for coming so far from Initium. We are opening these grounds by decree from the Lord Mayor, the King of Adventures. Our patrons will pay quite handsomely for any relics unearthed within these ruins. So get in there and give it everything you've got. And who knows, you might get rich. First time explorers will also be given this. Please, try not to lose it. Tame the Forest Ruins map. This might, this map will help you explore the ruins. You should fill it in as you explore the area. Thank you very much. Also, when you fill the maps, and you can sell them back in town. Sadly, due to the monster's population, most of this island remains uncharted territory. So why not make some money while you help out? <clears throat> while you help out? Of course, our shopkeeps pay higher for more detailed maps. So try to fill them out first. I understand, Captain. Well, that about does it for my explanation. We'll have a camp set up somewhere around here. If you get hurt, head on back. Good luck to you all. Happy exploring. Alright, I'm going to end this here, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend for the first part. Um, uh, I love that. Everything pops up like a pop-up book. It's cool. Um, yeah, I hope you're excited. I'll see you guys later.